So he says, I've been a truck driver for 16 years, owner operated the last five. I'm looking for a career change into coding. Is it possible to make a shift and stay in an income range of 70 to 80 K in six months to a year? And what is the best language to start with? And with that goal in mind. So uh, short answer it is possible. It depends really if you want to freelance as a web designer, web developer, having some good business skills, basic base business skills is a big part of it. So since you're an owner operator, I imagine you have some of these skills, which is going to be a bonus, you know, how to interact with people, how to talk with people, uh, maybe, uh, you can, because of your trucking experience, can leverage your contacts in the trucking industry to maybe become a uh, freelancer in that regard, maybe setting up their sites, who knows, uh, building custom apps. Now, to get to the 60 to 70K range within six months to a year, again, that depends on the individual. I've had people do it in a year, had some people do it in four months, some people take two years. So I, you know, I don't know what your aptitudes are and so on, but it is doable. So as a general strategy I recommend everybody is that you transition into it. Uh, you transition from career A to B so you're not left high and dry. You don't want to be in a situation where you're stressed out needing to make that money within six months or within a year. There's always inertia. Momentum has to be built whenever you start anything new. So, uh, so with the development, you have to learn the basics and you have to get your head wrapped around coding and thinking like a developer and so on. And then you have to figure out what niche you're going to get into. There's different niches in development. There's all these different types of development and coding that you can do out there. So to answer your question, what's the best language to start with? It's not so much about the language, but it it is the general space. So for development, you want to, if you want to get in, the easiest is the web space because there's a whole range of jobs there. Whether you might start off with simple branding site production, simple e-commerce work for people, uh, getting their site up, uh, you know, getting a payment processor up like PayPal or Stripe or something, um, you know, helping to integrate their social media with their websites, maybe getting their, their WordPress up and running or modifying their old WordPress site. These are all viable options. Who knows, you may actually find yourself into uh, in some custom development. It really depends on your contacts and just a bit of luck, right? You can be pulled in a whole bunch of different areas. But generally speaking... I would say start with the web stack. It opens up. It opens up the widest range of opportunities. So that means HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. From there, I I would do some backend with PHP, maybe learn a smidge of Python. But then you want to start really building things. If you watch all my videos, how to get into freelance, I talk about this uh, in great detail. So for you, what I would suggest: keep trucking and start learning how to code on site. Try to devote. 20 minutes a day or an hour every other day. Uh, you want to get, you know, three to four days a week in. Even if you do three days a week of 20 to minutes to half an hour a day, then uh, maybe on a Sunday do like an hour or two, that kind of thing. You just want to get that frequency going. You just want to start getting comfortable with code. Because you're entering the coding world new, I assume, you're going to have to uh, build some of those uh, brain connections uh, so that this stuff becomes legible, becomes un- understandable. Uh, then there are steps you can go watch in other videos where I talk about how to get into it. But yeah, it, it's doable within a year. Can you make 70, 80K? Um, freelancing, it's doable. Uh, working for somebody, uh, possible. Again, it all depends on your skill. It depends how you come into it. It depends how you present yourself. The good news is that since you have a background as an older owner operator, assume you have a certain level of professionalism and you have a basic understanding of business, which is very important. So yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, that's pretty much it. So if you get anything from this video, do the web, ramp into it gradually. Uh, don't cut off your income. Um, I know some people think, ah, I'm going to slow myself down. There's always this built-in inertia when you're starting something new. And you can't really push it through much faster, especially in the beginning. Uh, once you get it up and running, things are going. Then you can use money and effort to push it uh, more quickly. But in the beginning, you got to give your brain the necessary time just to learn this stuff. Wrap your head around this whole uh, this whole world. It's a very different world 
the web design and development world or any coding world, really, versus trucking. I would imagine, because I'm not a trucker, but uh, I think it's pretty obvious. All right, I hope that helps. I'm Uncle Steph. Thank you.